Many of us worry about leaving our cake out in the rain, but what if you didn't have to worry about leaving your pie out in the rain, specifically your raspberry pie? What if you could waterproof it so that it works outdoors and even underwater? Well, there's a way to do just that. And today we're gonna to show you how to take a Raspberry Pi 4 and make it so that it'll work underwater. So, what do we need to do? We need very few things. Um, obviously, you need a Raspberry Pi. Here we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 with one gigabyte. Uh, but, you know, any Raspberry Pi should be the same thing. And you need this, Corrosion X. It is a very volatile chemical, which is why I'm wearing gloves. Uh, and you will, we will be using it to bathe the Raspberry Pi and the ends of some connectors of wires that we're gonna use with the Raspberry Pi. And then after we've done that, we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna come back and try this underwater and see how it works. So first thing first, I'm gonna take the Pi, the Raspberry Pi 4 I'm gonna put it in this uh, piece of Tupperware, which by the way, you should never use for food again after you do this, because this is highly toxic chemicals and you don't wanna eat it. Uh, it is very poisonous. And if it gets on your clothes, that's also a problem. So be careful. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna pour the corrosion, some Corrosion X on it. It doesn't have to be a ton. It has to be enough so that I can thoroughly bathe the Raspberry Pi 4. Try to get both sides of it totally coated in the Corrosion X. And we're gonna do this for a few minutes because we wanna make sure that this really gets, gets nice and coated um, so that no part of it, especially the ports or any metal part, uh, doesn't have a ton of this stuff on it. So after you've soaked your Raspberry Pi really well for a couple of minutes, you're gonna pull it out and try to drip off the excess Corrosion X as best you can. You wanna make sure that you, know, you don't want too much to stay on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna let it, let it dry for a little bit. Um, so we're gonna put it on a paper, put it on a paper towel, uh, but we're gonna leave this to dry for a while, you know, uh, maybe maybe even an hour or two. And then we're gonna take some of the wires that we're using and we're gonna bathe the tips of them uh, so that they too can work underwater. So here we have a USB-C cable. And so we're gonna dip the tip, bathe the tip really well. And just because we don't know exactly which side is which on this cable, I'm gonna do both sides. And we're gonna leave these to dry as well. And then we're going to take one more wire that needs to go underwater, which is the micro HDMI cable. Because as we know, uh, Raspberry Pi 4 uses micro HDMI. Although if you had a different Raspberry Pi, you'd use a different type of, different type of cable. So we're just gonna dip the end of this that's gonna be underwater. And, uh, and we're gonna let that dry. So we're gonna let, so now that we've bathed everything in Corrosion X, we're gonna let it all dry. Gonna, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try it in water to see if it actually works. So here we are and we let our Raspberry Pi 4 sit overnight on a paper towel just to drip off some of the excess Corrosion X. However, it's not supposed to get completely dry because this is a wet material and it has to stay that way. Uh, supposedly, this will work for six months if, if you use it in uh, rough weather or, or water and up to a year if you're not using it um, in conditions that really require it. But anyway, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Raspberry Pi 4 and we're gonna stick it underwater and we're gonna see if it boots up and if it does then we're gonna see the Raspberry Pi desktop on this portable monitor that we have here. So we're gonna take this, you notice I'm still wearing gloves uh, because this material is kind of bad for your skin although some folks have used it without gloves and washed their hand. It definitely is very toxic and uh, obviously we would be very careful about 
not touching the water when there's power going through just in case. So uh, this is off right now, it's not plugged in and I'm gonna put it in the water and it's floating a little bit. Uh, so we will uh, plug it in, turn it on and then we'll dunk it even further underwater if it's working. <sighs> now for the moment of truth. Normally what you would do is hit the switch, but uh, we like drama here, so let's turn it on. Well, good news, we've got light. I'm gonna actually hold it underwater so that it really stays underwater. And let's see if we boot up. You can see the light is still, the light is on on it. Ho ho, we've, boot, we've booted up. So, you can see that this actually works. Um, now, we haven't quite tested how long it works, but um, like we said, it's supposed to work for up to six months. So uh, that's just a quick look at how you can waterproof your Raspberry Pi. And the reason why you do this is probably not to do exactly what we're doing, but maybe for using this outdoors. Uh, or for using it or for sticking in a bucket of ice for cooling, although there's better methods to cool it, like a fan. Uh, but uh, it's really neat to know that you can do this, uh, but you just want to be careful about touching it because the Corrosion X material is uh, poisonous and not so good for you and it, it'll get on your hands. So keep that in mind uh, if you do this. For Tom's Hardware, I'm Avery Pilch.